March 16th. Um, okay, day, I guess. Um, got my Neuroscan review from a chiropractor. And he's going to reach out of, to a functional neurologist he knows. Um, but he's liking my progress, and I'm liking my progress, at least with the scans. And physically, too. Um, wants me to get therapy, or he just suggested it. Um, but I'm not, not really in a place for it. Mm. Did a good job today as far as trying to get on top of shit. I'm trying to find a way to find a new routine for things. Um, a way to sustain all of this. So I basically kind of rearranged my um, rituals and I added more, but really it's the same shit, just at different times. I'm just trying to form a routine. So, for example, in the morning, I'm going to try to encode everything in the morning. So I do my kind of affirmations and kind of mantras right when I wake up. Then I do uh, my encoding for one daily stoic, one section of, you know, whatever I'm doing with the body. So right now I'm sticking with the um, myofascial lines. Tomorrow, for example, I'm doing the um, superficial front arm line. Um, and then one vocab word. Um, and then I journal. And then I quickly go over my. I have a feeling some of these are going to change. Um, I go over my things I just encoded very briefly, just in picture and word. So I say them out loud, the pictures that I'm seeing in my head, not even explaining everything. Um, then I record the previous days. Kind of want to do that. Yeah, it's sticking. So then I record the previous days thing when I go to the computer. Um, the buildings, recording the building, um, and then I dance, and then I do the rad roller and review once again, then I go downstairs and listen to mentor type thing. And the next big change is kind of my first meal. After my first meal, that's when I do my verbal no. Um, then I review once again. So I'm trying to reinforce these things in the morning so I don't have to constantly relearn them. Because all I need to do is go over the pictures. And as long as I can make the picture stick, then it'll stick for good. Then I just need to do maintenance. And then cane, do a little therapy cane. Um, and then, so this is all like right after I eat. And then I clean up. And then I start kind of, yeah. So I clean, then I stay in the kitchen and I cut, and do meal prep veggies because I need to do that every day. Um, And then after that, it's kind of the same thing. And I do two sessions of walking and reviewing throughout the day. Um, 
I'm going to say each probably worth 2,500 steps. And that's about it. And then the other thing I changed was preparing, um, doing recording uh, my daily report of food um, and video before I eat, making sure I do that. Show you um, and I'm going to do my daily report now, just so it doesn't have to do it later, and I can just go straight to fucking bed quickly. And what else? So today's daily stoic was um, that sacred part of you, and it's a quote from Marcus Aurelius saying, "Hold sacred your capacity for understanding." Um, goes on to say that just the ability to read. Daily Stoic in itself, read this book and um, use reason and then try to understand it and basically have the mental, mental capacity to do stuff like this, including just in trying to improve your circumstances and become a better person um, is an amazing gift in and of itself. Um, and just to be appreciative of that. That's it. Then I also encoded vocab um, behavior, which I have as symbol is Austin Powers, um, and also conduct. I have a conductor, specifically Bugs Bunny conducting. Then on the bottom, which of this tree, so I have at the top of the tree Austin. Bugs, and then on the bottom I have a bunch of paths. Um, and um, it's essentially symbolizing, symbolizing manner. So manners are different ways of being, essentially. Um, the manner with which you, you know, so, and then I have a D on one of them. So D, meaner, D manner, D meaner. Um, and then I have around this entire thing, I have uh, an item box for Mario Kart, um, the thing that could question mark, you know. And I have a sword stabbed through it. So all that together, I can just kind of navigate. Um, um, how you act, how you act, um, how you conduct yourself, how you, um, the manner with which you act. Um, so it's kind of all tied together. Um, the way you act, the way you conduct yourself, the way you behave, all kind of synonymous with each other. Um, so I do um, I encoded the fill in the gap kind of my own kind of personal mantra um, it's really kind of identifying a lack in your life and or anything in your environment or whatever figure out what to do with your life um, there's going to be many things that are lacking in many different aspects but um, you question what aspect is the most, or what is the biggest source of lack, and that is your, that should be your intent to fill, and to make whole again, um, to try to fill in the gaps. Then I also memorized, eh, I don't really feel like I anymore. But yeah, had a good.
got to do better, but did a little better than yesterday, so that's all I can ask.